Every year, I go through thousands of design projects from some of the most creative minds across the globe, and I've noticed a big shift happening for late 2024. These trends are bold, transformative, and they're set to change the way we think about design for years to come. So let's dive into the top seven graphic design trends for late 2024. You won't want to miss this. One of them in particular is more than just a visual style. It's a whole movement. But let's start with something different. The first trend is what I'm calling botanic revival. It's all about bringing natural plant-inspired designs into the digital world. Think flowing, organic shapes paired with sleek modern typography, a blend of nature's beauty with futuristic design elements. But it's not just about looking pretty. Botanic revival taps into a deeper message. It reminds us of our need to reconnect with nature in an increasingly digital world. Imagine these botanical designs symbolizing how fragile our connection with the environment has become, highlighting why it's so important to find balance. What's cool about this trend is how it fuses nature and technology. Designers are creating visuals where plants almost seem to take over machines. It's like a modern twist on classic Art Nouveau, but re-imagined for the digital age. This trend is perfect for brands that want to promote sustainability or anyone reflecting on our relationship with tech and the natural world. Next up is punk collages. This one's all about mixing fragmented images, bold colors, and chaotic visual. It's a rebellion against the polished corporate aesthetics we're used to. Imagine punk rock's DIY spirit, raw, unfiltered, and in your face, brought into modern design. But there's more going on than just visual chaos. This trend reflects the fragmented world we live in, overloaded with conflicting media, political divides, and fractured identities. Punk colleges give designers a way to capture that disjointedness, layering messy imagery to make sense of today's chaos. It's not just noise. It's a statement saying, nothing is simple, everything's up for debate. This trend also celebrates punk's DIY mindset. Just like in the punk movement where anyone could make music, today anyone can be a designer with a smart smartphone or laptop. It's all about embracing imperfection and showing that art doesn't need to be polished to be powerful. Punk collages push back against the clean, controlled designs we often see in the corporate world. By embracing the messy, chaotic and imperfect, this trend reminds us that authenticity and individuality matter. Next, we're seeing a return of vintage illustrations, drawing on the bold, colorful style of the 80s and 90s. This look is all about tapping into nostalgia, bringing back the fun, energetic design that defined that era. Think chunky fonts, vibrant colors, and retro imagery that instantly grabs your attention. This style is unapologetically bold and full of personality. It calls back to a time when design was all about standing out, whether in ads, album covers, or posters. But what really sets these illustrations apart is how they remind us of a simpler time before today's constant anxieties and pressures. It's a visual escape to when life felt more carefree, where design didn't have to be so serious. This trend embraces the fun and freedom of those days, a reminder that sometimes we just need to enjoy the ride. This idea ties into the mirrored philosophy of a larger trend that's coming later in the list. Now let's talk about unique fonts. These are fonts that break all the rules. They're chaotic, expressive, and a little wild. In a world where everything feels curated and filtered through social media, these fonts mirror that sense of constant change. They reflect the digital chaos of modern life, where identity and branding are always shifting. For years, minimalism has dominated design, clean fonts, simple lines, all optimized for readability. But these unique fonts are rebelling against that. They don't care if they're hard to read. They care about making a statement. They reject the idea that design always has to be practical. It's a form of creative freedom, pushing back against the efficiency-first mindset driven by algorithms. In many ways, these fonts capture the feeling of post-identity culture, where who we are is always evolving. They're playful, unpredictable, and ever-changing, just like the world we live in. With the rise of browser tech like OpenGL and no-code tools like Webflow, designers can now create beautiful, transparent, three-dimensional elements directly on websites. This isn't just about showing off technical skills. It's about creating a seamless blend between the digital and physical worlds. These designs are visually stunning and they also speak to our desire for simplicity in a complicated world. However, much like glass, transparency in design often hides complexity beneath the surface. It's a reminder that what seems clear and open can still hold deeper layers. Fluidblocks is like the laid-back sibling of the structured bento grid 
design. While bento grids focus on control and precision, fluid blocks are all about freedom and flexibility. These organic layouts adapt to content and user interaction, making the design feel more personal and intuitive. This trend reflects a cultural shift towards autonomy and a rejection of perfectionism. Digital spaces should feel natural, human and responsive, not overly engineered. Fluid Blocks embrace that idea, creating layouts that flow rather than follow rigid rules. And now, the big one I've been hinting at, the Mishko effect. This trend is more than just a design style. It's a philosophical shift. It's marked by chaotic, distorted typography, glitch art, and surreal visuals that go beyond aesthetics. The Mishko effect taps into the anxieties of modern life, the uncertainty, the cognitive overload we all feel in this increasingly digital and chaotic world. This trend is emotionally charged and thought-provoking, but I've already dedicated an entire video to it, and it's too deep to cover in a short section here. I highly recommend checking out my in-depth take on the Mishko effect. It's the most culturally relevant design trend of our time and you definitely don't want to miss it.